we're gonna do friction lab to do friction lab we need some weight this is we don't know we're gonna find it out so this is a force meter i'm gonna put it on the force meter and it's gonna read 200 gram and i'm gonna uh i'm gonna pull it by constant velocity and i'm gonna read how much force do i need to move this one with constant velocity 0.7 newton to move it with constant velocity now i'm adding 1200 uh, 1200 gram 3.3 .3 newton 3.3 .3 newton that's what i need um all right so i'm gonna add one more so now one kilogram two kilogram and then 200 gram so 2200 gram I need six newton to move this one so this is lab number 19 kinetic friction we have completed 19 labs out of 19 you have to pass 15 labs to pass fall semester fall semester consists of uh, mp1 plus mp2 as you know mp1 is started uh, September 16 and ended uh, November 3 September 16 we did the lab 1 which is lab contract and November 3 we did, we did uh, Lalio ramp that was lab 9 mp2 started November 11 and we will end at January 23. The first lab was reaction time. And the last lab is kinetic uh, friction. And MP1, you needed to complete seven lab to pass. MP2, eight. Total, you need 15 labs out of, of course, 19 labs that we 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 did so let's go over today's lab kinetic friction you know the friction graph if you look at the friction graph you see ff you see f applied and this is how a friction graph look like this is where the maximum static friction this is fs max and this is mu s and this is mu k we're going to just focus on this one by changing the mass and as you saw in the lab it's, it's supposed to look like this uh, but uh, but uh, but you will never you you will never going to see this one because this part static friction we, we did last time now we're just going to focus on kinetic friction so in the lab what i collected is the trial we did three trial trial uh one trial two trial three and then you saw the mass 200 gram 200 gram is 0.2 kilogram 1200 gram is 1.2 kilogram and 2200 gram is 2.2 kilogram now normal force I'm going to just use acceleration due to gravity is negative 10 meter per second squared. Uh, so this is 2 newton, this is uh, 12 newton, this is 22 newton. And um, force of friction we collected uh, in the lab is 0 0.7 and then 3.3 .3 and 22 newton 6. Okay. All right. So what is our biggest Fn? Biggest Fn is uh, x-axis is 22 so let's go by 3 so this is 3 this is 6 uh, we're gonna call this one of course Fn and this one FF so 6 9 12 15 18 21 and 24 and let's uh, our biggest um, our biggest y-axis is 6 so let's go uh, by increment by 0.5 so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 our first point is of course um, we're gonna go to 2 Newton 2.2 0.7 so this is 1.5 this is 2 this is 2 comma 
0.7 this is one so two comma 0.7 probably right here um 12 comma 3.3 12 comma 3.3 12 comma 3.3 this is 3.5 so 3.3 and then 22 comma 6 32 and 6 so 22 and 6 would be would be this one all right so now we're gonna just connect this dot we don't have to go 50 50 uh 50 percent below 50 percent above it seems like we can connect all the dot without any problem okay uh so let's 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 draw the line okay so this is our base fit line uh see this is above this should be below but that's fine if you if, if you as if you use desmos then you you probably gonna have this one below this one above but uh, uh but this gonna um this is gonna give us what we need uh hopefully so let's get this point we need two point this one uh, uh look this one look good this one looks this one looks very good and also this one looks very good two points they don't come from this table and the two points are point number one is 7.5 so 7.5 comma 2 x1 y1 then we have 16.5 comma 4.5 right and this is x2 y2 now we're going to use the slope formula slope is y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 then this is 4.5 minus 2 then 16.5 minus 7.5 so this is 2.5 over 9 so slope is 0 0.28 now what does the slope represent and what is the unit that's what we're going to investigate now to investigate that you're going to have to write the slope is y delta y over delta x and let's see the y ff and let's see the x fn right ff is mu k fn and fn is fn right so cancel cancel slope is mu k there is no unit for mu k we know that mu k is always between 0 to 1 and there is a no unit so and that's the slope so the slope is there is a name for the slope that's mu k and there is no unit so now the slope of the base fit line is 0 0.28 and there is no SI unit and this is the kinetic friction lab lab number 19 I posted the tutorial for every single lab without any exception make sure you have completed all 19 lab or at least 15 lab to pass the fall semester I look forward to see you all tomorrow